you know what they say about us guys in the East Coast? We're the Beast Coast, right? <laughs> the Beast Coast. <laughs> I, I hadn't heard that, but I'm going to start using it. <laughs> That's all right. I just made it up. It sounds really good, though. I'm gonna, it really I'm does. Like, I've never heard it, it but I think you should <laughs> added a B to it. Beast Coast. We need some T-shirts now that say... You that's know, it that, that's it right i'm gonna start throwing that out there the beast coast <laughs> i mean all i have is midwest is best you know <laughs> but, right in this hombre hold another bottle look a little closer cigar in moscato an actor in improv coming from chicago now, welcome everyone my name is paul vato and this is paul vato presents and today my guest is victor ramos AKA Crypto Vic, entrepreneur, visionary, founder of Fame Coin Exchange and fucking guy NFT. Whoops, I didn't mean to swear. We can swear here though. Uh, and it's spelled F K N, so I didn't really swear. Uh, so welcome, Victor. Thanks for being here, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, it's uh, actually, it's the Fame Coin and the Fame Exchange, right? So they're two separate things, but, but, uh, but yeah, but, uh, uh, good, good stuff all around. Good stuff. Uh, I thank you for uh, having me here on the Paul Vato presents. Uh, I love uh, catching your show when I can. So, and you, I love what you're doing. By the way, also all the guests that I see you having, and you're getting, you know, some uh, some good names coming through. So that's that's good. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I, I like to get people from all walks of life and industries. And whatnot, and I feel you know uh, that people are celebrities in their own right in different uh, uh, organizations and industries. So I thought that you'd make a good match for for the platform. And uh, I'm enjoying recording here on Fireside. Uh, they just came up with their NFT program. I, I, I mean, at least they were talking about it on Business Insider. I think it's Business Insider today, where it's like a hundred million dollar project where where their their Fireside is somehow you know going to we can sell NFTs and, and do all that. So I'm interested in learning more about it. And I thought you'd be a great person to chat with about yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Phenomenal. I, I actually, you know, I didn't hear about that yet, but I'm eager to start looking into it, uh, you know, because that sounds phenomenal, especially since we're in the NFT space, right? Um, it'd be nice to find out more about that and be able to see how it works as a platform for us to sell the NFTs through. Yeah, a hundred percent, exactly. So that's why I wanted to delve into it with with you know a project that we're working. And full disclosure, uh, Victor and I are partners in in, in, a, in a project. And uh, but I've learned a lot from you, and you have a, a, a lot of information to share. Uh, so I thought it'd, it'd be great. To, so thank you for taking the time to to be here and to do this. And uh, and and then we'll talk about your project. We'll talk about your background, uh, and and you know being from the East Coast and all that great stuff. Right, right. Well, you know the East. They, you know what they say about us guys in the East Coast. We're the Beast Coast, right? <laughs> the Beast Coast. <laughs> I, I hadn't heard that, but I'm going to start using it. <laughs> That's all right. I just made it up. It sounds really good, though. I'm gonna, it really I'm, does. I'm I've never heard it, it but I think you should <laughs> add it a B to it. Beast Coast. We need some T-shirts now that say... You that's know, it. That, that's it, right? I'm gonna start throwing that out there. The Beast Coast. <laughs> I mean, all I have is Midwest is best. You know, <laughs> but, right, but right, right. You're in beast coast mode. That's it, beast coast mode. Yeah, I like. There go. There you go. That's it. We got it. We got it. You're gonna have to write that down. <laughs> the yeah, fucking, I, I love it. Well, we'll, I, I like we'll to throw out the fucking the, beast code guy, coast guy. That's what we need. We need a a, a fucking beast coast guy. <laughs> it almost sounds like a superhero. <laughs> it does. It does. It does. We'll start, that's it. I'm going to start getting it animated. It's going to be part of the, the the video game that we make that we create. Well, that's what I that's what I love about our project, though that that it has uh, all these elements that, that that people you know the gamification uh, I think is very important. I mean, I'm learning languages on Duolingo, and that gamification really motivates and helps people keep uh, helps keep people engaged and whatnot. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean the. The project itself, it's got so many good utilities to it that, uh, and real, some really unique utilities, right, that uh, others aren't doing. And I think that that's one of the best aspects to it. I mean, it's got a, it, it's got a 
strategy where the project itself, it's not reliant on the project itself to bring income into the project. And that in itself is unique and what a lot of other projects don't have, you know? Um, and obviously, you know, anybody that wants to know more about that or get involved in a project like that, they can contact us, you know, as opposed to really delving into it and kind of letting the cat out the bag so that we start getting a bunch of copycats out there. But <laughs> well, it is, but, it is pretty unique. And that's what, that's what really initially attracted me to, uh, to the project. And I was like, yeah, I definitely want to be a part of this. But then as, as I talked to you and, and learning about all these, you know, different, the utilities, uh, the utility aspect, how important it is. Uh, but also the fact, I think that what, what we're doing is somewhat unique and, um, uh, letting say dare i say you know the regular people the normal people get in on this you know if, if you're a business owner but you're like i've heard of an nft but i have no idea or if you're a celebrity then that, right. that we can guide them in that right direction yeah yeah I, I think that that's probably one of the biggest uh challenges that a lot of other projects really don't want to deal with they they kind of want to stick to just dealing with people that already understand nfts or with nfts have nfts like they're like from a lot of project owners that i've spoken to they kind of shy away from onboarding to that respect like they're they're happy to set up onboarding and have onboarding for people to get onto their project that understand nfts understand discord understand all the the you know um applications that go along with nfts but the fact that they don't have um you know they don't want to really delve in and have um them learn the newbie stuff of nfts right like oh how do i set up a metamask how do I set up these, you know, the ability to get my NFT? Can you explain to me what an NFT really is? I don't really get it. Is it just a picture? You know, so all of these questions that people get time and time again from people that don't really understand NFTs, they, you know, they shy away from that because it is, you know, like sometimes, you know, to, to have to answer the same question, they'd rather just throw out a fact and be like, well, hey, if you check out our fact, you can, you know, our FAQ, you can go ahead and find out how to, you know, sign up or get your own NFT and stuff like that, right? Which there is a lot of information now, you know, available for that, where you could just go and find that information out also yourself. But I think we've done a decent job of, of you know, coming, bringing people through the process. I think even a lot of people that we've gotten involved in the project, um, we've had to walk through getting their first NFT and, you know, uh, getting them involved in under really understanding what NFTs are and what they can do and, you know, how to, how to be able to utilize them and what actual utilities are and how the utilities translate into the project being successful or unsuccessful. Right. Yeah. So, so and do you think it's because it's, it's a lot of work, you know, educating people that, that, uh, that some of the people are just like, well, no, I just want people that already know about NFTs to come into my project and basically give me money, you know, right. Right. As yeah, to, absolutely. Let's educate people. Yeah, absolutely. It's a tremendous amount of work and yeah. time consuming, right? A lot of time yeah. gets spent. So, and then that time obviously is money also. So, you know, for someone to spend their time to really um, instruct people and walk them through that process, uh, you know, it, 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 it gets expensive, right? Because you got to, you know, somebody's got to give up that time in order to do that. Uh, but I think ultimately, uh, you have to do that for the success of the space itself, right? Unless we've got new blood coming into the NFT space, you're really always just going to have these NFT whales that get to manipulate projects, they get to manipulate the markets of them, mm -hmm. uh, and essentially get to keep other projects down, right? But when you start to build a platform where 
you're bringing new people into the space, you're, you start to create your market, right? Because, it, it, you know, it's easy, for, it's easy for people that have other platforms to utilize that platform and create their project. But it's a lot, and it's a lot more difficult if you don't have that. But if you have the resources and the platforms outside of the project that now you can bring into the space, you really create your own market and you also create your own viability within the space. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, and I think that that's exactly what uh, what attracted me to the project too is, is that we're willing to to help like the, the newbie basically, uh, but also specifically, and is this something we want to talk about as far as like the, the business owners that, that we want to partner with and, and help? Yeah, yeah, and- yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We, yeah, that's, that's probably, you know, there's, there's two, two key utilities. Um, and you know, uh, the, one of them is obviously that networking aspects uh, of the project, which is, you know, I, I have a, you know, I have a fucking guy, right. I have somebody that, that you, you, you need somebody for something. I have that. And that's that networking aspect of what we do. And that networking aspect will bring us to a point where people begin to grow, people begin to grow and um, grow their businesses based on what we do. Right. So, so once we, once now that we have that element, we don't only grow, um, you know, within our project, but we grow exponentially offline, right? Because now as we bring in these offline businesses and bring them into the NFT space and show them how they can get involved and also give them this aspect of where they can increase their businesses, that networking aspect of what our utility is, is really going to be key to growth. And it's going to be key to expansion. Um, and then on top of that, when you throw in the, you know, the 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 brick and mortar marketing aspect, and that that's going to be key as well. Yeah, that's that's wonderful. Well, I, I love the fact of how we're building this community, and uh, I'm looking forward to to really growing this because it's and, and that's exactly it. It's it's the uh, the networking aspect you mentioned networking. I think that for me, that's probably one of the most important utilities is the fact that you get to network with other business owners and just other people. And and you're introducing businesses to consumers. And I mean, they could all be part of this giant network. Right, right, right. And and even with even with the brand ambassadors that we've been, you know, connecting with and meeting with and and, um, you know, that's going to be key as well because that adds another networking aspect to it, right? Because there's so many people in entertainment, in the arts that are in this space that they want to connect with all these people, right? They want to connect with people. So now um, as we bring on more and more brand ambassadors and, you know, once once everything's all said and done and, and that we, we can start naming names and start throwing them out there, which, which will be great, you know, but just, I mean, the level, and that's what it's all about connecting, right? Like you've brought, you've connected us to so many people because of your platform and your past and your history and, you know, um, the other people involved that are bringing just so many key individuals to, to, to the project, um, whether it be as an, a brand ambassador or a board member or something like that. I mean, we've got some key players involved in this project that um, are involved in other projects mm-hmm. that like, you know, um, really, you know, I, I think it, it really s- stands on what this whole space is about in terms of bringing people together and, uh, really being um, having an open mind in working with other individuals, helping them where there's a need, filling a gap, um, you know, not being um, selfish or in the sense where they only want to work with, you know, th- within their project. Like this space is very much a, uh, a space where, there's a lot of collaborations. There's a lot of people that get involved in multiple different projects. And there's a lot of people that help other people grow. And it's almost like becomes this big mastermind of NFT uh, projects, right? Uh, So uh, I think that that's a really good, unique thing in the space. 
uh, that really needs to be continued and cultivated and expounded upon because um, that's what's really going to make this pl- this space grow uh, to a different level. I, yes. Wow. Uh, I agree. And uh, I can't wait to really start revealing some of the celebrities that we've connected with and are, are probably going to connect with. So I'm very excited uh, about that. And not just because they're celebrities, but I do have a celebrity centric podcast. So I guess I, I do enjoy that world. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. So. So. Right. That's, that's, and, and, and just because you do have a celebrity centric podcast for anybody that listens to this or is listening to this, uh, feel free to get in touch with Paul. If you want to be part of the project, uh, he can send you the deck. Right. We've got the we've, we've got the deck uh, for people to take a look at. Um, and it's really a unique, really unique project uh, to, to really get involved with. We got some uh, we got a lot of uh, events coming up. Uh, we got one coming up here in the in New York City in uh, August. Um, and that's going to be a collaboration with a couple of other projects. Uh, which is going to be super, super dope. Uh, you know, one of the guys that sits on the board, he's uh, he's got his own project. It's called Champ Tunes, and he's a uh, he he is a uh, former two time uh, Golden Glove champion. He owns a couple of boxing gyms out here, and uh, the event's going to be a collaboration with him. And he plans to have some uh, uh, you know professional boxers there, and we're going to have. Uh, uh, you know, former professional NFL players that, that are going to be stopping through. Uh, hopefully we'll have some, you know, some other uh, professional athletes and entertainers, you know, come through uh, and the lineup, you know, will be sick. And, you know, so uh, as as they start really coming aboard and, and we've got the clear, then we'll start, you know, throwing out the names and, and, and getting it going. But uh, as of right now, just for, for what we know, it's going to be sick and it's going to be a really, really good time. And uh, you'll be coming down in New York for that, right? So, uh, uh, yes, I'll be going to the Beast Coast. The yeah. Beast Coast, the Beast Coast. So that uh, hopefully, we, hopefully, we got you doing a comedy skit up there so you can, you know, go ahead and uh, th- get their laughs rolling. Sure. Ab- absolutely. That, that's my specialty. Uh, maybe some hosting duties. And, and it's my pleasure and, and my honor. Uh, so, so that that's basically now where uh, I, I, it's like I'm caught in the middle here. Like I know where people can go. Uh, what's the website? But I feel like as an interviewer, I have to ask you: Where can people go find uh, information on on fucking guy NFT? And, and yeah, if they, they they want to get uh, they could always go to the uh, fknguy.com. Uh, that's the website that'll give them the best information. Uh, the Instagram is at FKN guy NFT. So FKN GUI NFT. Uh, that's actually all our handles for all the social media stuff. So you can find us on Twitter, same thing. Um, and, you know, that's where you find us. That's uh, amazing. That's wonderful. Did you want to uh, talk a little bit of, on FameCoin and the FameCoin exchange? And then maybe we can also. Uh, talk a little bit about tells from the crypto uh, if you'd like, well, but, uh, and I don't know how much time you have, but I, I, you know, I don't want to take up all of your time, but yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I, I'd like to, um, because I don't have too much time. And uh, I mean, Famecoin is such a big project. Anybody that wants to check it out, they can go to famecoin.com. Um, that, that's our crypto project. It's a really unique um, project in, in the crypto space. Uh, it's really going to change the landscape of uh, entertainment and sports. Um, and, you know, so that that uh, if anybody wants more information on that, they can go ahead and, and take a look at that. But but, yeah, tells from the crypto is definitely uh, something I, I want to really get into and talk about. Um, you know, we've got that show. Right. Paul. So Paul's going to be a uh, guest host on the show. Uh, tells from the crypto where uh, we're going to be talking about all things uh, crypto and some things that are not crypto that we could bring into the space and and um, you know uh, kind of b- bring together right so we have uh, the format is we're going to have some really cool guests uh, on the show um, in a few different aspects of 
um, how they relate to crypto. Uh, so whether it be finance, you know, we'll, we'll have a finance expert. Uh, we're going to have a crypto a- a expert come on, uh, NFT experts. Uh, we're just going to have all things crypto and, uh, you know, talk to the market, talk to the, to the industry, talk to some individuals that are getting in the industry, uh, have some, you know, witty banter going on and uh, crack some jokes and make some laughs and hopefully just have a really good time. Uh, and be real informative and, and actually help people out. And that's actually going to be a big platform we're going to use to educate people uh, in, in the simplest forms. You know, hey, today we're going to show you how to set up a wallet. You know, today we're going to show you how to buy your first NFT. Today we're going to show you how you trade an NFT. Today we're going to show you how NFTs work on the back end. Uh, you know, so uh, there'll be really, really informative stuff. We got some good, la- we got a great layout for the show. Uh, and we got some really, really great content that we're putting together for it. So um, we're looking to air, uh, I think uh, it's May uh, 26th um, that we're looking to air the first show. Uh, and it's going to be right here on Fireside. So uh, that's going to be a good thing. I think, it, and it's like the perfect storm because it's just, I, yeah, thank you. Yeah. You, you know what? Yeah. Let's give Victor a, a round of applause. Thank you guys so much. For being here and if, if, you, if you have a little bit of time thank you yes 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 um uh, and and if not this time maybe the next time or, or we can save it for tells from the crypto is that uh you know maybe we can take questions because i'm sure you know a lot of people don't know what's what's going on even what's an nft and again with the announcement today that fireside and mark cuban and fallon fatemi uh have partnered up uh, and i believe it's is it called uh i should have been more familiar with it like scale or stake if anyone knows what it is drop it in, in the comments with this coin uh to to do nfts here through that you can buy right through the platform right through fireside i mean they've already added the ability for us to just hit publish this as a podcast and it'll instead of me downloading it and then re-uploading it which i don't mind doing because i'm, I'm doing video through anchor and spotify but they've partnered up also with i believe libsyn uh, so it's all kind of, I mean, it's happening as we speak, you know, to make it easy for podcast distribution from, from Fireside here, but then also for people to go like, I love this show. Let me invest in this show. Let me buy uh, uh, Vic's crypto coin. Let me buy Vato's nice. crypto coin. So uh, let me buy Rock's, uh, I'm going to definitely invest in Rock Steady crypto, you know, uh, or NFTs. So um, yeah, I mean, I, I yeah, <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, Rock Steady. Rock that's steady. the man right there, rock steady. That's our guy. That, that's our fucking. That's our rock steady guy. fucking guy. Yeah, it's the kangaroo <laughs> fucking guy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, did, did, uh, any final thoughts or, or or should we keep going? It's up to you, buddy. I, I don't. I, I know that you were kind of on a limited time, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, um, I mean, no, just final thoughts are: hey, you know what? Anybody that out there that uh, uh, wants to check out the project, you know, uh, we kind of told you where to go, but the website's fkngui dot com. Uh, you can go check out more information there. Uh, check, if you want to check out some of the NFTs and the, the artwork that we've got, you can, you know, definitely check out our Instagram, uh, cause we got a whole lot on there. Um, and, uh, on Rarible, uh, we've got a lot minted until, uh, this, this next collection comes out, which will be on open sea. Um, that's going to be the crazy fucking guy collection. And then we got the original, fucking guy to come follow right after um and then you're definitely going to want to get those because to have those is the only way you can be a boss and then uh being a boss is where it, where it's at uh so th- there's so much i mean we can expound more you know like on uh and we'll definitely delve into more on tells from the crypto about the project itself and stuff like that but you know there's so many utilities when you buy your nft you get a t-shirt uh, you get, in, you know, you automatically get entry into Me Familia, which is, you know, um, the family. And uh, we have monthly, you know, sit downs, in-person sit downs. So if you're in the area, you know, if you're on the Beast Coast, you um, uh, you get to come to New York and or from wherever you are, if you're willing to come out, you can come out, have a sit down with us uh, and you actually get 
to put input into the project itself, like real input. Like it's not like, you know, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for showing up. It's, it's really so that you can come in. We talk about the project, where we want to go, the things we want to do and uh, really have the community push and gear what it is that we're, we're doing. Uh, and, and then on top of that, you know, we have the game coming out uh, that's being created, uh, with, you know, setting that up so that you can actually use, utilize the NFT to get into the game and build, uh, build your family through the game. Right. So that's why you want to have a boss, because that's the only way you'd be able to build a family. Uh, and then on top of that, we've got the other two real unique uh utilities which is the networking aspect of what we do and then the uh the marketing aspect which is that you know off offline uh smbs and um you know brick and mortar businesses so so a lot of interesting stuff a lot to unpack a lot to uh get done but uh but i'm looking forward to it and i'm super excited about you know rocking and rolling on this and, and making it happen so that we build a really strong community and everybody benefits from it, you know? Well, I, and, and I love it. I love being here at the beginning of it, at the birth of something fantastic. And it's not just in the U S it's international. It's worldwide. I mean, we have people in the UK, uh, I think, I think Australia as well, and maybe Thailand. And right. so it's, it's one of these things that it's, it's international. So I, I love, I love the whole concept. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Awesome, man. Well, I, I thank you. I thank you again so much for having me on the show and, and invite me on, man. Um, and I just look, you know, I look forward to seeing you again. Hopefully I get another invite. And uh, if not, uh, we're going to be together on Tells from the Crypto. So yeah, I, I, I love the fact that time people, there. we're letting people know about that. So look for it May 26th right here live on Fireside. Victor and I will be hosting tell, Tells from the Crypto. A double pun there, and I love it. Uh, where we're, it's uh, going to be all about crypto and NFTs, and maybe even how you know how Fireside works. And uh, you know, I have a friend who wants to get a movie done uh, in the NFT world, so we can use uh, this show to maybe even use that a la launching pad for that. So, nice. so, thank you so much, and Victor, thank you for taking time to uh, to sit down and chat with me. I know it's uh, you know three hours later. So you probably have to get going. But thank you. Yep, yep. Uh, well, all, all good. All good. Thank you, man. Thank you. Really thank you a lot, man. And thank you for all of you that popped in here. I'm going to invite the wait bot up and the show will end shortly. So, Victor, once again, thank you. And thanks for everyone that was uh, that spent a little bit of time with us. Thank you. All right. Take care. Man. This ain't hombre holding up the bottle Look a little closer, cigar in Moscato An actor in improv coming from Chicago Alto, make way for Paul Vato